And we're back. This time I'm going to show you how to create a dotted outline. Just have a random image opened, copy it with Ctrl J, we will have the original as a backup, and we will work with the copy. Grab your quick selection tool and select the model. This time we don't have to go into the little details as we will not really select the model and cut it out later. We just want to select it to have a basis for the outline. I'm going to speed up the process a little bit. All right, you don't have to worry about the little parts right here. As I've said, the outline will go around the model, so we don't have to get rid of these little parts of the selection. Go to Select, Modify and Smooth Selection. Increase the smoothness a little bit. Once again, select, Modify and Expand. Around 30 pixels should be fine for this image. You will have to test it out for your own if you don't use the image that I've linked in the description. Right click, make work path is our next step. Tolerance, the same goes here. Just try it out for your image. A tolerance of 10.0 is fine for this one. Now create a new layer. Select the pen tool and click on shape. Afterwards, we can use the rectangular tool. By the way, the pen tool is up here. So if you don't find it, right click and there you have it. But let's talk about rectangular tool. We don't want to have a fill. We want to have the stroke. We will use the color white and increase its size. Even 10 pixels, that's not enough for this image. Let's try 25, that looks better, but I'm going to increase it even further. 35 pixels should be good. As a preset, there is a dotted outline where we can click on more options and even modify it further. Right now the outline is inside of the selection, our original selection that we turned into path. We want to have it on the outside. We can play around with the caps, have them rounded for example, and we can play around with the corners as well. Just adjust it the way you want to have it. The number dash is for increasing or decreasing the size of the single dashes and gap is for increasing and decreasing the gaps between the dashes, as you can see. If you only have one dash and one gap selected, you will have you will have the outline that I've created here, but you can have different dashes and gaps by giving the other three options some numbers as well. I want to have an outline with only one gap size and one dash. And there we have it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.